you have to stop contemplating on those demonic negative thoughts. Thoughts of what people have done to you in the past. You have to stop contemplating on those thoughts. Yes, those thoughts are coming from demons. So if you contemplate on demonic things, what can happen? More demonic things. For instance, a person contacted me and told me about their spiritual vision about me. And when that person told me about it, that person is so accurate or their vision is very, very accurate, very accurate. I receive demonic negative thoughts every single day every single day no matter what i am doing i could be praying i could be eating i could be walking i could be doing anything and boom a thought of something when i was a teenager boom <laughs> a thought of when i was in my early 20s boom <laughs> Just random, foolish things. It is like, well, this thought did not work on him, so let us try this other thought. So that thought did not work either, so let's try another thought and another thought. Let's continue to try until something sticks. Perhaps their tactic is to tire you out. Who knows? But ongoing negative demonic thoughts, it is crazy. Last night, I believe the Holy Spirit told me to do something. And that is what I did. When I did it, I felt a heaviness come off of me to where I felt, yes, more light, but more happy as well, if that makes any sense to you. And perhaps minutes after, How can I say this? I was receiving these demonic visions. More than visions, I guess you can say. I was receiving these thoughts where I could see them. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you, I was receiving like, these images of demons and stuff like that to where they were coming to my brain, my mind, and I could see them at the same time. Crazy. And I was seeing these different types of shapes of demons and trying to intimidate me and stuff like that, trying to put me in fear since they could not get me to contemplate more on the bad things. So what they were trying to do is now intimidate me or put me into fear. And I had to pray about that, so on and so on. This should prove that 
those negative thoughts that you are having are demonic. So when you choose to contemplate on them, you are falling into the trap of demons. Demons are making you feel depressed. They are making you feel down. They are trying to get you to hate and pull back. Listen, even if you were to move and live in a cave away from everyone, don't you know that God is going to allow it to where you are going to have problems? Perhaps God is going to allow an animal to come into your cave and pull your hair. <laughs> and years later, demons are going to remind you of it and try to make you hate that animal. I am telling you. Even if you cut yourself off or how can I say that? Even if you push away people, God is going to make it to where something is going to happen to you that you are not going to like. So you can't escape being hurt or being disappointed because something is always going to happen to you. I am telling you. So my point is, stop contemplating on those negative thoughts because they are demonic. As you can see, I was being demonically oppressed, which is crazy. <laughs> this is why I ask you all for your prayers. Because if you depend, not so much depend, but if you are learning from me and I am helping you out, hey, I need help too. So if what I am teaching you is helping you change, I guess you can say, hey, I need prayers. Don't you know that Cav gets attacked too? I really do. I really, really, really do. So I need your prayers more than ever, always. Even when you see me smile or laugh or anything like that, hey, I am always, always going through something negative. Always. I am telling you, the higher that you get in God, it is like demons are trying so many things to throw you off your path. So you may believe that, hey, Kevin, it is hard for me to live for God. Hey, look at the people that are serving God. Much more attacks are coming their way. So if it is hard for you to live for God, imagine how it is for me or other people higher in God. It is nuts, man. Really, really, really crazy. Like, I have to constantly monitor my thoughts, constantly monitor what I say, constantly monitor everything. It really gets tiring sometimes. Sometimes I just want to lay down and empty my brain and wait until the end of the world. <laughs> I am serious. So pray for me. Pray for actually the men and women of God that are helping you because they are in need. They are in need of prayer as well. So let me stop here. God bless you.